does the Fed set interest rates? This morning, I got a call from a journalist, and she was working on a story about interest rates, and here's how the story went. The Fed is going to raise rates, she said, and those higher rates will lead to lower stock prices. And she wanted to know what investors should need to do to prepare themselves for those higher rates. I took issue with the basic premise of that story, which is that the Fed sets rates. In fact, the only interest rate the Fed sets is the Fed funds rate. It doesn't set T-bill rates. It doesn't set T-bond rates. It does not set mortgage rates. Does it have an influence in rates? Of course. But the drivers of interest rates in the long term are expected real growth in the economy and expected inflation. The Fed at the margin can influence those rates. So if you're thinking about low rates over the last five years, and you think the Fed's been responsible for those, I have some news for you. The reason interest rates have been low for the last five years is because we've had anemic growth and really low inflation. With or without the Fed, rates would have been low. If inflation had been high and or real growth had been high, I don't care what the Fed would have wanted to do about rates, rates would have been high. So if you're looking at the next few months and worrying about what the Fed might do to rates, here's my advice. Stop obsessing about the Fed. The Fed does not set rates, it follows rates. If rates go up in the next few months, it's not necessarily bad news. It might be because the economy is doing much better than expected, which might actually push up earnings and cash flows for companies and make stock prices go up. You can't just keep everything else constant and play with the interest rate when you're looking at the value of stocks. Interest rates reflect what's happening in the real economy and in inflation. And if you're doing your valuations right, your valuation should reflect all of those changes, not just the change in interest rates. So stop worrying about the Fed, start worrying about your own investments, and everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm.